identifying London dispersion forces. In this example problem, it says the most important intermolecular force pres present um, present in CH4 is which one of these? So we know it can't be E because that's an intramolecular force. But we have four things here. We know that CH4 is tetrahedral in shape and doesn't really have, is not really a dipole. So it's not a dipole. So it's not an ion, so it doesn't have ionic attraction. It's not a dipole. And when you interact with CH, the dipole is also not present. So D is actually the answer, the dispersion force. And the dispersion force has to do with the polarizability or the way, how much, how easy it is for an electron, the electrons in an atom that are distributed in an atom to be disrupted or to, or in a molecule to be disrupted. So here it's much less, it's much less likely to happen to be polarized. But when it does, it depends on the molar mass of that molecule. So if the molar mass gets more, that means molecules with more molar mass usually have more electrons. And based on the number of electrons, the force gets stronger and stronger. And the London dispersion force here is the only option because it's not a dipole. And even though it's molecular, even though it's inter this force, this intermolecular force, the dispersion forces are weak they are still present. And even though it has a low melting point, we can see that the melting point gets higher if we do other, other if we look at the compare boiling points of CH4 to other in London dispersion force molecules, and we'll see that it gets higher with a lot of molar mass. So for things that can't be dipoles or are not ions, we know that it's the London dispersion forces that are acting on them if they're staying together the way they are. So C, D is the answer to this question.